Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, my noob lords and new bets. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel in uh, this video. And uh, I don't know, I haven't done videos in a while, so I don't really know how to, uh, you know, start them. So this is kind of awkward right now. So, but anyway, today's video is going to be a review. I just saw a movie. And by the title of the video, you know what movie it is. And I couldn't let this pass up. I could not let this uh, opportunity um, of a uh, video idea I randomly had to review a movie, which I've never done. And uh, with this movie, I just really wanted to do it because it's just hit a nerve and I'm feeling. <laughs> but, um, so I went and saw Fast uh Fast and Furious 7 or Furious 7, depends uh, where you're looking, you know, it's normally called Furious 7 I think, but it's a Fast and Furious franchise, blah blah, you're, you already know that, probably. Um, what the fuck are you doing if you don't? But, nonetheless, let's get into it. Now, the background gameplay is going to be of the crew, don't ask me what I'm doing because it's not even been recorded yet, I'm going to get around to doing that. But uh, it's going to be the crew, and that's the closest video game that I could think of to do with Fast and Furious. Uh, it's not anything like Fast and Furious, but it's got, it's, you know, the crew, if you've played the game, you know about the story, and uh, what happens, and the story of the crew, and it's like uh, crew like Fast and Furious, where they got their own crew, but, you know. It's the closest thing I could get, plus it's cars. What's not to love? Cars are fucking awesome. I love cars so much, but uh, that's just not what the video is about. Alright, let's get into it. So, Fast and Furious 7, or Furious 7, goes for about oh, two and a half hours-ish. I'm not too sure, I didn't really time it, I was too busy watching the movie. Um, but, for a, a new addition to the Fast and Furious franchise, I would say they did pretty well. They did really well, actually. I think it will be my favourite, uh, next to, what was it? Fast and Furious. I really like Fast Five and Six a lot. I don't know, but this movie would be my favourite. Uh, the way they started it off and you know just went through the story and you know it's a typical Fast and Furious movie. You got cars, you got action, you got these stunts, crazy shit, guns and all this other crap. But they really picked it up in this movie. Uh, really brought up the you know amp and. Uh, the action and new stunts, like they really gave it a new kind of, uh, excuse my voice by the way, I'm kind of still sick right now, um, but they really amped up the action, the scenes and the emotions of the movie and just gave it a new feel, um, and it it's not it's not a renewed Fast and Furious movie at all, it's a completely new addition, like that's what it feels like, it's not reused, it hasn't, hasn't got a, you know, cont uh, a Sta same storyline, like it's not like, oh, this guy, we need to fuck him up. But, you know, it's got a completely new story. It continues on from Fast 6, um, you know, if you haven't seen the movie. Spoiler alert, I'm going to say it right now. Um, <laughs> you know, they move on because in Fast uh, 6, they take on the, uh, what's his name? Oh, they take on the Blackshaw dude, the little brother, There's uh, and in the, you know, Fast 7, if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert again, let's get past this part, I don't know, um, they take on, you know, the big brother of Blackshaw, so, big brother Blackshaw, uh, played by Jason Statham, if I pronounce that right. He did pretty well in his acting, as he does in most movies, you know, he's a really good actor, good in the action films, you know, you gotta love him in the action films, he, he does pretty well. Um, so, on that part, you know, it's really good. Um, there's not much really ca uh, character development with him, but you don't really expect that too much with, you know, a bad guy in the Furious movies, it's more about the Fast and Furious family and crew that's the character development you really get. You don't really get too much with the bad guys. The only character development you get is he's pissed off about his little brother getting fucking put in a hospital and almost killed, and he is out for revenge, pretty much. So that's, you know, that's his character development, and, you know, he's a badass, pretty much, and he can drive cars. Not as well as the crew, obviously, but still. 
So, you know, there's that. Um, but the, you know, they've took the character development with the crew a little bit further as well. And as you know, Paul Walker passed away um, uh, in 2013, I think it was. So, you know, they really took him to the next level as well. Um, and they ended off the movie really well with a tribute to him, which I'll get to in a second, but we're going to talk about... Ah, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I hit my leg. Uh, we're going to talk about, you know, the rest of the movie and, um, you know, how that did. So, you know, this, the start of the movie, um, it was... I really can't... My, my, <laughs> mine. Straight up, when I'm trying to think of something, boom, it's out of my head. The start of the movie, it picked up a little bit slower than usual. Uh, no, it picked up a little faster than usual, to be honest. Um, it picked up really quickly with the action, actually, uh, compared to some other uh, Fast and Furious movies, which was nice, nice addition. I like how they did that. Uh, the action scenes, how that was filmed, and uh, there's a little bit of slow-mo in there. That was really good. The cars looked great, The what they did with the cars and the stunts with the cars. Uh, you got my favourite, honestly, of the cars in the movie are the muscle cars, obviously, because muscle cars are just the best, honestly. <laughs> but there's some really nice, you know, sports cars, exotics, hyper cars. Uh, there's this one car that uh, in the movie that's uh, red, I don't even know what car it was called, but... Yeah, apparently it's a real it's a real car it's only one in uh, there's only seven made in the world so that was in the movie as well and it was really nice um, so they did well with the cars the action the way it was filmed with the action uh, they did good slow-mo and you know editing of it and uh, you know that was good as well so that that is a good new addition like some other movies are a bit lacking on the you know how it's filmed the action but uh, some of the other films didn't really have the um, the fighting scenes and stuff as they do now, or did. I don't know if they're making another one. Um, so you know, in the older movies, <laughs> uh, there was a lot more uh, just driving and pimping out your cars and showing you know, <gasps> drag me right now. I'm gonna kick your ass. Um, so, there's, in this movie, it's more dry, it's fucking racing off its tits, but they're doing heists and, you know, action and all that shit. I'm not gonna, I'm trying not to give too much away with it, but, um, they did really well, and it, I just like the feel of the movie, how they just really, just took it up, and, you know, they gave a good plan, and the way they did the missions, and developed the storyline, and scripted it, uh, they did really well with that because it turned out really awesome. Like, you know, one part of the movie, spoiler alert again, not too much of a spoiler alert because you've already seen the trailer. You know, they're getting shot at uh, all of a sudden. Not sure what his name is, but he's got it like a Jeep, armored up Jeep. There, um, Dominic, which is Vin Diesel's character, steps in and says, you know, we need a shield. So he brings the big, uh, this other, one of the other characters. Forgive me, I don't know, I forget his name. Uh, brings in the armored jeep, and you know, get, takes that as a shield and is blocking all the bullets because it's full on bulletproof. I mean, I had a little cough there. <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, and then after, you know, he blocks all the bullets, they get right behind each other in a formation line. You know, he says, uh, Dominic says, you know, formation, and they get in the formation. It's just really, really well set and uh, well planned on the movie script and how they're delivered it and obviously you know they're gonna make the delivered script the best they ever can and they did they did really well on that um, so you know it was a good movie overall um, I don't think it needed to go any longer I don't think it needed to go any shorter it was, it was fine the way it is I'm not saying it's a perfect movie like you know 10 out of 10 I'll give it I'd probably give it you know a good solid 9.3 honestly uh, that's how much I liked it compared to the others and just the way they ended it uh, we're getting to that now the tribute to Paul Walker um, they did really well to that and they honored his memory really well and just you know I don't know if they're ending the series there because you know he's out and you know he can't make anymore because he passed away um, but 
you know, the way they ended uh, that, I guess you can call it, portion of the Furi Fast and Furious um, in his memory. They did really well on that. Um, they gave a really um, sweet and beautiful and just kind of, you know, perfected ending and tribute to him. And it, was, it just, I don't know, it felt really well. And I'm going to be honest now, I did cry. Like, it gives you those feels, how they honoured his memory. And, you know, give him, gave him a tribute. And um, it was really good uh, to see that. And, you know, they were going to do it anyway. But just the way they did it, they couldn't have done it better, honestly. And they couldn't, you know, they couldn't have done it better. Um, so good on them for doing that and just it was pretty good I don't know if there's gonna be any more once again any uh, Fast and Furious 7 uh, Fast and Furious movies they could very well do it um, but you know um, they'll probably be if they did there'll be still memory of Paul in it obviously because he was part of the franchise he still is in the memory of him um, but you know if they did, I don't know what they would make it about because there's no continue. There wouldn't be. A, I don't think there would be a continuation. <coughs> pardon me. Uh, of this story because they ended it with the you know bad guy getting caught. Blah blah. Um, it's kind of mediocre kind of stuff, but it's it wasn't really. I don't. I really didn't find the um, myself being dragged toward them catching the bad guy and all that stuff. I just felt it was. It was just about the crew and the cast of Fast and Furious and, you know, the family and how they did it and how they honoured Paul and it was it was basically all their mo uh, it was just a, you know, it was a good movie that was, that I felt like it just c contributed in a memory of Paul, like it was amazing, the movie was a tribute to Paul pretty much, like, you know. That's what I felt like he was the main scene, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, I think that, you know, I liked it. It was really, uh, really well done, and I couldn't have asked for a better movie for it, to be honest. Um, that did really well, and, you know, I'm, I would go see it again. I would go see it again right now if I could. <laughs> so, you know, if you got some spare change or something, go out to the movies and see it. If you like those kind of movies and Fast and Furious and you know, all that stuff, then go ahead, go see it, it's worth it, and, uh, one last thing to say, to all the, you know, everyone out there, and Paul himself, he's watching down on us all, so, rest in peace, buddy, I uh, hope you find peace up there, and driving paradise, mate, you did really well, and you won't be forgotten, he'll live on in the franchise, guys, and always in our minds of the actual, you know, full-on hardcore fans, and, I guess everyone else, so, yeah, I don't know what else to say, really, I don't want to drag this, no, I dragged it on too much, happy Easter, by the way, alright, cut the fade, <laughs>